Today's question comes from Eva and it pertains to Microsoft Outlook. Now I don't get too many questions about Outlook, but here is what she's asked. I was introduced to a function that used to allow me to set when I wanted emails deleted automatically. I really like this feature for keeping my inbox clear of subscription mail that I liked but wanted to regularly purge from my inbox so that only the most recent email was kept. Suddenly the feature seems to have disappeared and now I can't change the settings if I want to. Do you know if or why Outlook changed or got rid of that feature and how I might be able to change the settings for a particular context? Now there's a few different things wrapped up in that question, but I'm quickly going to cover off three different ways that you can handle email. There are rules, there are quick steps, and they're a conversation finder. So let's actually start with the last of those three because it's the quickest to go through. Here I am in my dummy Outlook account. Don't try emailing me on this, I won't respond. But I've got a message here in my inbox which has been backwards and forwards a couple of times. So somebody sent it, somebody replied, somebody sent it on, somebody replied to that. And when you do that, there's a conversation history that gets retained. Now, theoretically, as long as that chain doesn't get broken, like if somebody changes the subject line or maybe it diverts off a number of different ways to different contacts and the chain's broken, you won't be able to use this. But here we have a clean chain. And very simply, if you right click the message and choose find related and then messages in this conversation, it will show you a history of that message from beginning to end. Let's just click more there. Now, apart from the original message that was sent, this particular message only has one response. But it might go backwards and forwards 20 times, in which case there'll be a history of 20 messages or 20 steps of that conversation listed here. Now the latest one will normally be at the top, which means that as long as the chain hasn't been broken, you can highlight the other 19 messages in this conversation and remove them. The only one you have to keep is the latest one, because in that message it'll have the whole conversation from the very first one through to the latest. That simple trick is going to declutter your inbox, your sent items, and any folders where you've saved messages. The second tool I want to show you in this video is the rules tool. You can either start with an existing message simply by right clicking on the message, choosing rules and then create rule. That gives you a starting point. And what it does is it picks up certain attributes of that message, such as who it came from, what the subject line was, etc., And that forms the basis for your rule. You can then click advanced options, which takes you into the full tool. Let me just cancel out of there for a second. This is also available if you go to your home tab and you'll find rules halfway across here. Now, when you click on that, again, you just choose create rule, brings you to the same point and again, advanced rules. So either of those two methods you can use to get here. Now the rules wizard has three main steps to it. Ironically, they're all labeled step one, but each step is distinct. What rules are all about is they can pick up certain conditions about an email that's arrived in your inbox. And if that condition is met, do something with it. So take an action. So what we're going to do is to highlight any messages that come from a particular sender. We're going to make up that sender name. And if that condition is met, delete it. Or if you like, you can actually permanently delete it as well. Delete, of course, just puts it into the trash, which means you can retrieve it again. But if you know for certain that you want to get rid of this message completely, you can permanently delete it and avoid that step. There's all kinds of stuff you can pick up on here. I'll leave you to explore that in your own time. I'm going to do a very simple example here where I say if it's from a particular sender, now at the moment that's me, but if I click on this, I can put any person in here at all. So you can either pick somebody that's already in your contact list, or you can just come down to the from box at the bottom here and put in a brand new email. So let's just put in joe at xyz.com. I hope you don't actually exist, Joe. I'm just using you as an example. And click OK. So there it is, Joe at xyz. He actually was part of my contacts list already. Again, a made up contact. So when we choose next, that takes us on to the second step of the wizard, which again is called step one, like I mentioned before. And here we say what we want to do with that message. So the fourth one down says delete it. The fifth one down says permanently delete it. Of course, if you wanted to move it to a folder and just file it away safely, automatically, you'd use one of those options at the top there. But for this example, I'm just going to choose delete it and choose next. Now, step three of this rules wizard says, are there any exceptions to the rule? So you might want to pick up any email from this particular person and do something with it, unless one of these conditions is true. So it might say, you've won $5 million. How many of those emails do you get? But if you actually want to make that an exception and actually get that email so you can read it, you could put that in here. I'm going to leave it empty just for this example. When we choose next, it takes us to a summary page 
where you can just name it at the top. It just puts a dummy name in there for now. You can either keep it or rename it. Turn on this rule means that from this point forward, any message that comes into your inbox is going to get checked for that condition. And if that condition is met, it'll take the appropriate action. You also have the choice to run this rule now on any messages currently in your inbox. Now over here it says all mail items because I forgot to select the inbox before I came in and started creating this rule. Had I done so, it would have said already in inbox. And that's it. You just finish up. And from this point forward, any messages that meet that criteria are going to get actioned. Let's just cancel. It's just an example. Now the third thing I want to show you is something called quick steps. These have been around for quite a few years now, but a lot of people don't use them. And in effect, it's a manual way of running a rule. So the rules I've just showed you run automatically on autopilot. But if you actually want to show some discretion and only do something when you demand it, that's what Quick Steps is all about. So you've got to make sure you're on your mail, make sure you're on your home tab as well. And the Quick Steps is this group here. Now there's a few sample Quick Steps that I set up previously. But if you click this little icon in the corner called More, it gives you the choice to say New Quick Step. So let's just do that. Now, the first thing it says is, do you want to use one of these main actions? These are things that people commonly do. In our case, we actually want to delete the message. So none of these are actually appropriate. So what I'll do here is I'll choose Custom. Then give it a name. Delete email from Joe. And then down below, choose an action. And if you wanted to, you could actually string together a few different actions. In this case, choose an action and then delete the message. As you can see from the list, there's plenty of other things you could do here. But when I do that, that is my one action quick step. Now, it actually doesn't discriminate. So where it says delete email from Joe, whenever I run this quick step, I could apply this to anybody. It doesn't have to be from Joe. So I might as well get rid of that just to make it a bit more accurate. Just delete email. And that's all we've got to do. You can assign a keyboard shortcut if you wanted to, and a tooltip text, which means the little label there shows up when you hover over the quick step to remind you what it does. When we click finish, that quick step has been added to the gallery. It's the very first item. So if I go to my inbox here, and let's just pick a message. I'll just use this one about a password change. If I select it, and I could select more than one if I wanted to, and then click delete email at the top, it applies that quick step. The quick steps are also very useful for filing stuff away into a folder quickly. If you've got a bit of a folder hierarchy going on, you might be three or four or five levels deep sometimes, that's the place where you want to file your email message. But if you set it up as a quick step, it's one click away every time. If you've never used quick steps, it's well worth investigating. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you and share those three techniques for handling email quickly. If you've got any questions about this or anything else to do with Outlook or any of the other Microsoft programs, feel free to share it in the comments beneath this video. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. And if you want to get notified, ring the little bell as well. And as videos get produced and uploaded, you'll be notified.